Hello. Welcome to another great episode with Mrs. Grabner here. Um, so what we are going to do today is we are going to do some review problems um, to get you ready to take your quiz in just a couple minutes here. So you are going to work through these review problems and um, you'll have a couple questions that you'll kind of have to stop and answer as we go through. So the first two I'm just going to do with you right away because they are pretty straightforward. Look at the graph below. Is it proportional? So when I look at this first graph, I do notice it's a straight line. I do notice it actually starts at zero zero so that tells me that yes this graph is proportional it says if yes what is the constant of proportionality remember put your nose up pinky finger out constant of proportionality this is really just saying what is k so what I need to do is follow my line all the way up and see if I can actually find a spot where the line goes through the crosshairs it looks like this is a good one right here so if I want to look, I need to do K, so I'm doing Y divided by X. So come over here, my Y value is going to be 40, and my X value is going to be 50. So I'm doing 40 divided by 50, so I'm going to get 0 0.8 for my K value then when I actually divide. Um, we could also leave it as 4 fifths. Either way, I would take any answer. Taking a look at number 2 here, if I look at this graph, yes, it's a straight line. However, Here's the origin, and does my line start or go through there? Nope. So that means there is no constant of proportionality then. So we're able to just kind of move on with life. Taking a look at number three here, um, the following table shows the relationship between the number of miles driven by Mr. Grabner in his car and the amount of gas that he's used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start you off here, X and Y. Remember to do K. You're doing y divided by x, so we're going to do 82.2 divided by 3, and I got 27.4. So I'm going to have you go ahead, check these other three right here, and then answer the question, is the relationship proportional then? All right, so if you check the other ones, this one also gives us 27.4. And if we do 246.6 divided by 9, we'll end up with 27.4. And if we do 301.4 divided by 11, we get, shockingly, 27.4. Since all the K values are the same, yes, the relationship is proportional. Remember, one rogue K value would mean no proportional. So which statement is true? He gets no more than 27 miles per gallon. Well, he actually does. He gets 27.4 miles per gallon. Yeah, he does. He gets 191 miles per seven gallons. Well, that's not true because it's actually 191.8 miles. So that's out. 0 0.036 miles per gallon? Nope, because we did miles per gallon here. So it looks like B is our correct answer here. Take a look at this one. Use the graph to answer the following questions. The graph shows the amount of dough Brittany has prepared and the number of hours she has worked at the bakery. So we have the dough prepared is our Y and the hours worked is our X. So remember to get K, we're doing Y divided by X. Now I'm kind of looking along here, there's no dots. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. And if I follow along right here, it goes over the crosshairs, right here it does. And it looks like right over here. So we could use any one of those points to actually calculate calculate our K value. So I'm going to have you, I'm going to just pick this one right here, and I want you to go ahead and pick out which one is going to be our K value here. What's our unit rate? Is it going to be A, B, C, or D? Well, using that point, if you did 3 divided by 1, that is going to tell you that your K value is 3. And remember the label kilograms per hour, Y label over X label. So that takes us to letter choice C here. It says, what does the point 2, 6 represent? So we have to kind of be careful here. 2 is X, 6 is Y, X represents hours and six represents kilograms. So it looks like two hours, six kilograms of dough. Um, so two kilograms, no, not two kilograms of dough. Six kilograms of dough in two hours or 12 kilograms in two hours? Well, it does tell us it's six kilograms in two hours is that particular point. Now, knowing the answer to number four here, that our K, our unit rate, or our K value is three, I'm going to have you pause, and I'm going to have you actually answer question number six here, because it just says which equation would it be? 
So if you look here, your K value is three, that's gonna lead you to answer choice C. Now, question number seven, we did this in our review on Monday, um, but just a real quick refresher for you, which could also be a point on the graph. Well, it's gonna have to have a matching K value. So in order to check these, I do Y divided by X. Four divided by two is two, that is not three. 5 divided by 1.5 is going to give me um, a hot mess. It's 3.3 repeating, so that's not 3. 1.5 divided by 0.5, ooh, that actually is 3. And let's just check just to make sure. 10 divided by 7, ooh, I got 1.42, blah, 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 blah. So that is no. C would be my correct answer here. Um, taking a look then, went a little bit too far here. Use the following information to answer the questions that follow. These points represent a proportional relationship. Well, can we check, Susie, to make sure? We can do K and we can do Y divided by X, remembering that in an ordered pair, it's X comma Y. So if we do this, five divided by four, I get zero point, or well, excuse me, oh my goodness, 1.25. Um, if I do 15 divided by 12, I get, ooh, shocking, 1.25. And I'm going to guess, I'm going to go out on the limb here, 7.5 divided by 6, 1.25. So it looks like 1.25 is my K value, which leads me to the answer in number 8. Noticing there are no decimals here, but remember when I did this one, wasn't I doing 5 divided by 4? So 5 fourths is 1.25. So there is my K value here. So I'm going to have you check number nine, which point could be included in the list to represent her proportional relationship. So you need to check these and figure out which one does still have that same K value. If I do this one, I'm going to check them all. 24 divided by 30 is 0 0.8, so that's a no. 35 divided by 28 is 1.25, so I'm guessing that's my answer, but I'm going to check the others just to make sure. 16 divided by 12, I got 1.3 repeating, and 4 divided by 0, well, that's going to like error out because you can't ever divide by 0. So B is our correct answer here. Final question then, which equation represents the proportional relationship? Well, if you know that the K value is 5 fourths, Y equals 5 fourths X is the natural answer then because that would be how we write this. Please go ahead. There's one more question that's going to pop up for you at the end of this video. And I want you to tell me what type of score you think you're going to get on your quiz today. Would you going to get an A, a B, a C, or is it going to be something else? Better not be.